Well, hello there, guys. Today I'll surprise you with a Legends of Runeterra video featuring Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger is one of the coolest cards in this game, in my opinion. Um, when you cast a spell, he creates a fleeting turret. Fleeting meaning you have to play it in the same round or it disappears, which is no problem because when it is spawned, it costs zero in this very round. So, how he works is depending on what kind of spell you're playing and how much mana it costs, basically you spawn a different turret. It can go from a very weak range bot to, well, the T-Hex, which is a super powerful card. Um, and most of them have also like a little flavor here. This one has a barrier, this one has overwhelm and so on. So you see, pretty obvious is you want to play Heimer in a spell heavy deck. And his downside kind of comes with being a very low stat card with relatively high cost. Now, one of the biggest combinations definitely is um, to play him with Flash of Brilliance immediately, meaning you stack up three spell mana till your round five. When you hit round five, you hit that Heimerdinger, you spell Flash of Brilliance, free spell, free turret, fleeting, uh, actually an elusive turret, um, which is pretty cool to have. Then you still have three spell mana. If you have another Flash of Brilliance or even another yet, you can do this up to three times, immediately filling your bo uh, board with nine damage of elusive units, which is pretty damn great. Also, even after you're done with it, you again have three spell mana. If you have another three cost spell, for example, uh, for example, twin disciplines, which is like um, rather common because you can, it's very versatile and also important to protect your Heimerdinger because he has low health from enemy spells, um, like get excited, for example. Again, another three cost spell that puts out a turret. Though, I guess that is enough talk and for some reason I really want to reminisce a little bit about Heimerdinger being one of my favorite champions in League of Legends. Back in the day, you were able to actually place six turrets on the board. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't know that, but back in the day Heimer was able to place six turrets. His ultimate was actually to upgrade the turrets. I should have showed you something. You could do all kinds of shit with that. You could even at one point, I remember, block the minions walk out of your lane with all the turrets you could place and yeah, create a minion army, then drop the turrets and boom, they go, which is pretty cool. Um, you know what? We're playing, we're playing a League of Legends game with Heimerdinger now. All right, I do not know if I'm top or not. Someone asked me to please go top instead of mid. Then he spoke French only. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, he got me as well, but totally worth it. First blood stuff. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh my god, why is everyone disconnecting in my game? Oh my god. Camera fou. It was a terrible idea. Well, that sucked. I even uh, lost a lot of facial hair. But in the name of Heimerdinger, I left the moustache. So. Let's play a game. The deck list will be in the description also with the deck code and we can just chat. Like a lot of those cards are interchangeable. Timo is in there because I just love him and I just want to play him a little bit before I get the other two Timo copies. So let's jump into it and enjoy. All right. So what I do actually like to do at the beginning here is uh, to keep Heimerdinger. <laughs> He's such a huge win condition. Um, I might even consider keeping one of those to save him, but yeah, I do like to have a little bit of a better curve. And here we go. One drop Teemo, two drop Champak, and then either Puffcat Peddler or Shadow Assassin. Um, Puffcat Peddler I have in here just because he's just out so lovely with spells and 
together with Timo, we, we're going to have a good time. Like, that's for sure. I guarantee uh, that this deck is giving you a good time. It's got a lot of nastiness going on, but it's lovely. So he just played a card that can also be summoned by being played... Well, by playing two spells. But he played it from his hand, so he lost some potential tempo for later. But of course, it's better than playing nothing if that, uh, if that was indeed his only option. If mushrooms could talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, what he's having. Alright. Well, this seems fast, and this guy seems to have no answers at all. That's pretty cool. Now, there's the question of, should I play something, should I not? He probably will... He will most likely play something that can block the Puff Cap Peddler and then also will not spawn anything bigger than that. However, after that, I would not do the extra damage, so I'll actually go with the attack right now because of the likelihood of him having now an answer on the board. He did not have one. <laughs> but in all likelihood, I think um, continuously doing what is more likely is better. And here, it already starts. I'm doing this my oh, he can actually um, do quite a lot of damage to me with this, especially since poor little Timo is here now. Um, that means Timo will sadly bite the dust right now. And there's pretty much nothing we can do about that. We could also, we could play Karma and give him an even more appealing target maybe. Or hybriding and give him a more appealing target, but we don't want to do any of that. So this guy means trouble. We'll just start building a little bit more of a case on our board. And next round we can do the hybridinger combo, as I would call it. He actually is going for the peddler. That is a um, kind of a surprise to me. But okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. We pass now. We take this three mana into the next round to play it together with our friend Heimerdinger. He plays it now. Okay, imagine him having a Heimerdinger right now that he hasn't drawn yet. Um, that would have hurt. But he did not have one. Lovely indeed. Now let's go Heimerdinger. After that, we can even kill by. Yeah, you see. You'll see how awesome this is. Unless he kills Heimerdinger now, um, which would be sad. When drawn, cost two less than this round. Deal three to a unit. Yeah, we do not have a counter for that. That is uh, well played. However, we will go with a flash of brilliance immediately to at least spawn one unit from Heimerdinger. So that's cool. Also, it's an elusive unit. He will have to deal with all this elusiveness. Um, after that, we cannot sadly do anything to stop this from happening. So we just have to take the L on this one and say goodbye to our boy, Heimerdinger. Goodbye. Unforeseen outcome. Now let's play the free to play elusive unit. Now we're hoping for him to waste some mana. Because if he does that, invests a lot of mana here, he does. He sadly has an absolutely excellent card though to play right now. He is actually getting rid of every single elusive unit that we have built up. But he's also gonna use Vi, uh, lose Vi. While we keep damaging some of his Nexus. It's 3 guaranteed damage and we also placed 3 more puff caps, making a total of 15 puff caps in his deck. So, goodbye, bye. Puff caps in there. We shall attack. This will, by the way, be a possible finisher. Just in case. Okay, the dark beckons. Um, I will actually go with Karma to draw a spell instead of a card. Immediately. I'm happy with that. Um, oh. If he draws the card that he just used again, he can kill Karma. Which he did. You bastard. 
How dare you? Well, I guess Shadow Assassin might have been the better option here. Uh, was the better option, but you'll never know. You'll never know with those things. I shall pass this one. I'll take the two damage. Pass again. Maybe we get lucky and get another Heimer. We don't. Stacking up some damage there. Liking that. We have quite a bit of self-heal as well. We can heal the Nexus by 7 and again by 3. If uh, that should be required. He actually has some... Uh, damage to Nexus kind of abilities. Let's go with this. For the simple reason that now he cannot defend against our Shadow Assassin. So this 2 damage will be done as if the board is right now. Unless he cancels it. Wait a minute. We got a counter for that this time. We didn't have this great counter for the more important units which is too bad. But we can still use it now and that's sweet. We put 6 more shrooms into his deck. While well, our little elusive assassin survives. Never mind. He now <laughs> he now actually counters it with deny. That's crazy. What a spell exchange here in this game. The funny thing is he still can block it now. You see that? Three health. That is pretty sweet. We can even attack with the puff. Puff cap peddler. My goodness. Here we go. He might block it with this, which is okay. Oh yeah, he is actually really saving for damage now. Which makes sense. He is in danger. What is he waiting for though now? I don't know. Don't tell me I have a DC. That would be very upsetting. Okay, there we go. And now we actually do nothing. The health potion is a burst spell, so if he does something against us, we will most likely be able to counter it anyway. However, our cards are not too satisfying. Well, I'm summoned to draw one then, if you've played at least 10 other cards with different names. Grant me for a uh, plus four, plus zero. Decent card, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good card. You name it, I'll nick it. Now the question is, shall we block it? No, we won't. We have heal, if need be. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, I don't have an answer for this. This time. Master. We'll take out this boy though. We take him out, get three mushrooms in there. We are at 19. The spirit gives to those who listen. Summon a dragonling if you cast two plus spells the last round. Okay, you didn't do that. <laughs> you did not do that. Okay, this is a little bit upsetting, I guess, right now. Um, However, we're just gonna go in. We're just gonna go in. He has to block it all. What we now hope is that he plays something really expensive, um, so that our Will of Ionia cripples his turn completely. I don't really want to use. Um, Heart and mind as one. That's valuable enough. We take now we hope that we can take away this and he doesn't have it in I. There they go. Great, great entrance speech. It was moving. Alright. Draw some more cards, my bro. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Four damage, boys. Four damage. Okay. He's definitely not done yet. We will pass. Where there is life, there is hope. Still not done yet. That is... That is heavy. He has four freaking spells now here. Lying around. And he's actually attacking with karma. I'll take the full attack. I will take the full attack. And then heal myself up a little. Which creates more shrooms. Which might even win me the next game. Uh, the game. In the next round. It also gives me a card though. To maybe take action. If I get like a mystic shot. I fire it straight to the nexus. And then we just flip the coin. Uh, not really what we want here. Not really. We heal the nexus as well. This card sadly doesn't do much right now. We do have some direct damage spells though um, that could come next round. Let's see though what he draws. Okay. Two damage and also that will provide us um, with even with some more healing and an actual um, Check out the goods on this one. Hmm. You know what? We'll do this. Play them back to the hand. That way we can heal them. And also attack with something that has more damage. Okay. He used four mana. I just play it again. Let none disturb my meditation. And to pay three mana. Okay. 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 <laughs> and I play it again. We, see things as they truly are. we have 21 shrooms in there. Fast as wind, light. Let's attack. Let's see. He will. He will block with that. Okay. Plus one and quick attack. We shall answer. Place. Ah, we don't place rooms now. So he saved himself from two more shrooms in his deck. We're full health again. And now it's gonna be interesting. Disgusting? Maybe. But that's part of the fun. It wasn't really Heimerdinger at the end of the day. What won was no one but Timo. Now, I actually really like this match. So this is going to be in the video, but let me try and get a good Heimerdinger going. All right, guys, this game isn't going well so far, but may I present to you now the elusiveness of Heimerdinger. Let's play the bad boy here. Why elusiveness? Because if you remember, Floor B gone <laughs> um, is actually the three drop pretty much of him. And well, let's spawn some because this is a burst spell. Boom, we get a new spell. Pretty awesome spell, by the way, for the feature. And now let's spawn one more. Also, pretty awesome spell for the future. And those are now for free. Completely for free. But I am I am actually really worried about him dealing direct damage to my Nexus, which is super, super likely at this point. So there could be there could be some trouble. There could be some trouble approaching. And I'm not sure if I wanna I think I have to keep my mana for the possibility of having to use a deny. Um to save my, my ass, quite frankly from possible attacks 
For now, that didn't happen. That's cool. Next thing we will hope for is... Okay, we end the round. That he, if he immediately attacks, it could be dangerous. That is everything but dangerous. I won't even react to that. It does level him up a little, but... Now, let's do this. Two, one, go. We've still got some mana left for a deny. We will only start... <laughs> oh, oh, is he using a deny now? He can't. Ouch. We'll have to do that. We'll have to deny him from using this. He would kill the puff cap peddler, he would kill the floor be gone, he would kill the other floor be gone. We cannot allow this to happen. It's 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 getting tough here. Is he the not what is This is crazy. No! Brilliant! There they go. Damn! Okay, we can defend ourselves though, so that's good. And we have to. If He's not attacking! He leaves us those great units here. Pretty cool. Ooh. Oh my god, we can get a double karma. Check this out. Check this out. Peace begins within. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Then I Denied! What is his answer? If his answer is direct damage, I'll go cry. No! I used my last deny! Oh, I should have let him kill Karma, I guess. Because if he didn't have the direct damage, what would have happened is the following. I would have done 6 damage by using the elusive units. Then I would have get excited and attacked his Nexus, which would have been doubled. When you cast a spell, I play a spell, cast it again, which is another 6 damage. Which would have ended being 12 damage, exactly. Well played. Well played. Unless... Oh my god, it's not over! So this is how versatile the game is, because if I kill this unit, he cannot trigger the re uh, what's required for the action. So we're getting rid of the Dragon's Rage now. Actually, we're getting rid of that. Check this out, this is so crazy. Boom! We are now getting rid of this spider before he can use the spider to do the 3 damage. Cease. Is this crazy or what this game? This game is crazy. It's the only answer. The will of Ionia. 6 damage, he has to block. He will block with the spider, we will sacrifice, sacrifice the puff cap peddler now and see what will happen as an outcome here. Wow, I actually had this game completely lost right there. The next will be the Dragon's Rage and I will most likely win unless he... Oh my god! Unless he wins in this very round with his first card. If he wins with his first card, I lost.
This is nerve wracking. He's thinking, so he doesn't have an obvious choice. Dragon's Rage, boys, come on! And G fucking G. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I will make more. I enjoy this a lot. And I see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.